This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the this one's so gentle. Sorry, we let go of the sky. I think I want to try the chocolate milk too. Maybe we can get yogurt to take home. And now, there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Wow. So good morning everyone from our beautiful cabin here in Kinabalu Park in Sabah. So yesterday we left Kota Kinabalu and drove two and a half hours over here, um, specifically to Kundasan, which is a town in Sabah that is known to be the New Zealand of Borneo because of the mountains, because of I think the climate. Uh, the terrain. We've never been to New Zealand, so we wanted to experience something like it. And this was much closer than flying to New Zealand. And it doesn't feel like we're in Malaysia right now because yeah. it's really cold. I think we are just not accustomed to the cold anymore. I think in Canada, we would have been like, oh, this is t-shirt weather, but now we are cold. Yeah, even though it's only, what, 17 degrees, yeah. but because it's so wet, it has been raining a lot since we came mm -hmm. here, the cold just gets right into your bones. Yeah. When we first started driving yesterday, the weather was still nice. So about an hour into our drive, we came across this suspension bridge, which was pretty neat because one side was a suspension bridge for people to walk across. And then just underneath was another bridge for cars to cross. It looks like they just quickly put that road together. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> After we left the suspension bridge, that's when it started raining and it was raining the whole time we were driving into uh, Kundasan. When we got there, we couldn't really see anything in town, but we did find a selfie station. <laughs> you pay five ringgit to go inside and they have a lot of props, like, props and kind of stationary places where you can take photos. We usually wouldn't stop and do that, but because it seemed like there was nothing else to do, we couldn't see anything. So we decided to just have some fun there. And a lot of local people were actually there taking photos too, which was cool. We got quite lucky because the rain stopped for us for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? happening? I don't know, but <laughs> it looks fun. What do you see? Here. There's a lot of interesting things in uh, Kundasan so far. <laughs> Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves though. Yeah, even in the rain. We wanted to share a little bit about the place we're staying at. We are actually inside Kinabalu Park, which is a UNESCO heritage site. I think the first UNESCO heritage site in Malaysia and one of the first national parks in Malaysia. And lots of people come here to start their hike to go up to the mountain. That's why there's a lot of different lodges that are inside the park. And we got unlucky and lucky. We booked a hill lodge, which was not too expensive. It was still like $100 US a night, but they didn't get our booking, but they were able to upgrade us to a nicer like cabin right here. With a fireplace. With the fireplace, with the balcony, huge, beautiful room, super comfortable, king size bed. We had just a cozy night in because there really isn't that much to do around here. Mm -hmm. And it got really, really cold as the night developed. Yeah. And we had to turn on the heater. Yeah. <laughs> things you 
can do in Kinabalu Park. We were planning to go to the botanical garden, uh, maybe even check out some of the shorter trails here, but there is no way we can do that today. I don't even see other people walking around the park. That's something maybe we will have to save for next time. Because I think one day we would love to climb up to Mount Kinabalu. So we'll head to our next destination, which is the Dessa Cattle Farm, I believe that's what it's called. We'll go see some farms. Maybe we might see Mount Kinabalu. Um, if not, we always can have some fresh gelato there. And I also want to milk the cows. I don't think you can milk the cows there. But it's a farm, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't think you can milk the cows. So we finally made it here to Dessa Cattle Dairy Farm and there is a huge lineup people getting milk and yogurt and cheese mostly for the gelato but I think let's walk around a little bit before we come back because the line seems really really long right now I'm amazed how many people are here and there are so, hundreds of cars and thousands of people yeah we parked really far because we didn't want to queue to get a parking space in the main area we also found out that you need to book a ticket ahead of time. They have three sessions each day, so they take a limited amount of people. So you're supposed to book your ticket ahead of time, but we just rolled up and we paid 10 ringgit and they allowed us to come in. Let's go explore this place a little bit before we come back for our gelato. Real quick, we just want to say a quick thank you to our longtime sponsor Squarespace for not only helping to keep us on the road, but also for creating a great platform for us to build and manage our website. You can make a beautiful website faster than you think with their award-winning templates and endless design tools that are easy to use and require zero coding. We also love using the Squarespace app to make quick changes on the go. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. you this but this is where they milk the cows so they don't do it by hands anymore they it's, might it's maybe. all by machines they just yeah. hook the pipe to the cow yeah movies. see that's what i'm hoping to do <laughs> just like that except you wouldn't know how to do it so that's not good <laughs> i think it would be easy now you actually was telling me in the car you've never seen a white and black cow. Mm -hmm. Because in Thailand, the cows are all white and all brown. Not like black and white. And these cows are way bigger than the Thai cows. So I looked it up and I think this is a specific breed that is really good for milking. Like for, um, what do you call it, dairy cows. Because they produce more milk, it's more efficient. So I think that's why we probably don't see that. You see it more in like places like Holland, like New Zealand, big milk producing countries. Since we can't milk them, we can give them milk instead. <laughs> that one. Oh my goodness! Nom 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 nom. We hear the slurping sound. Yeah, it's super cute. Is it soft? It looks so soft. He actually smells nice. He smells really nice. You want to feed him? Yeah. This one's so gentle. because this milk is warm and I think that they're really like baby babies even though they look so big by I mean, they're baby babies it's so cute you want more? Hi. you 
this one for me? I'm sorry, I forgot about you. Which one do you want? I want strawberry. Okay. I got too excited. milk that I had in Australia like there's more like fullness to it this is really delicious I mean it's it's not cheap though it's like eight ringgit for one gelato can I try your strawberry too okay. mm. yummy very fresh it's like you drinking milk straight from the cows <laughs> You notice that everyone here is buying boxes of milk to go home. <laughs> and yogurt and I don't know, like basically carrying a shopping bag full of stuff when they leave. Unfortunately, <laughs> the weather is so bad that a lot of the stations are closed. We tried to go down to the cow barn to see the other cows. Couldn't get close enough. And the cows are probably hiding too. I feel like a lot of them were trying to find like a rock and then sticking their head in there to avoid the rain. So we tried. Kundasang, we tried. <laughs> I think we may need a redemption trip. I think so. I really think it has huge potential. Like we didn't get to see how beautiful it is, but we can get a feel of the nature and I think it definitely is worth visiting mm -hmm. when it's not raining. <laughs> If you have watched this far, we want to say thank you so much for joining us on this adventure in Kunasan. We wish we could have shown you more, but it's still quite a lovely adventure for us and I hope it was entertaining for you guys. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Bye! Should we get another ice cream to go? <laughs> it's so good. Or maybe chocolate milk. Ta-da! excited for chocolate milk. All the kids are having it. It looks so good. Ah, delicious.